The neighborhood in shock this afternoon after a Webster Groves homeowner shot and killed an intruder early this morning. Fox 2's Kelly Hoskins is live from outside the police department. And Kelly, what is the homeowner saying about what happened? Well, Vic, investigators here at the Webster Groves Police Department say that the homeowner asked the intruder to exit his home, but when he refused, that's when the homeowner opened fire. Now, we're told that the homeowner is cooperating with police and told investigators exactly what happened. Police say a person tried to break into a Webster Groves home in the 1400 block of Grant Road Friday morning around 3. Investigators say the man had entered the home from the back door and was confronted by the homeowner. Neighbors are in shock. It's sad, definitely, and, you know, he broke in and, you know, got the bad experience from it. I heard a guy broke in and then got greeted with a shotgun. Police say the homeowner ordered the intruder to get out and when the suspect refused to comply with verbal commands to exit the residence, that's when the homeowner opened fire. We tried to reach out to the homeowner but was unsuccessful. Many residents say the news is alarming. It's a tragedy that this happened because it shouldn't be going to people's homes, you know what I mean? People work off of what they got. The homeowner was not arrested and police have not said if the homeowner knew the intruder but did say it is believed that the suspect was acting alone and there is no additional threat to the public. Webster Groves criminal defense attorney John Sheflark says the case could possibly be justified under Missouri's state extended self defense law. So Missouri's castle doctrine, it doesn't go by that name. There's nothing in the statutes that says Missouri has a castle doctrine, but it is an expanded set of protections for gun owners so that if you're using your gun in self defense, you are protected when you're in your home or in the case of dangerous felonies being committed against you. Yeah, classic scenario, let's say someone is burglarizing your home, they break into your home, they don't have permission to be there. You do have the right to use deadly force and the law is gonna presume that you were justified in doing so. And we're told that the homeowner was not injured and police are still working to identify the deceased suspect. They say the investigation is ongoing. Reporting live from Webster Groves, Kelly Hoskins, Fox 2 News.